Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Shamil bin Umar and under the supervision of Dr. Azimah Marusli, I will present my final year project entitled Optimum Warehouse Control Parameter for Lean System at a Small and Medium Sized Enterprise Factory. I will present briefly a summary and introduction of this project along with some literature reviews that I've conducted. In addition, I will briefly explain the problem statement and the objective of the project and not forgetting the scope and methodology of the study. Alright, moving to the project summary. The ultimate focus of warehouse operation is to satisfy the needs and expectations of customers while utilizing space, equipment and labor as effectively as possible. To improve the visualization process in lean manufacturing by incorporating the IoT, into the manufacturing process. Uh, this project is expected to focus on a number of control parameters in creating optimum warehouse for lean system at SME factory. So the primary focus of this project research is on evaluating the little wastes that have been found and how they affect the manufacturing activities uh, described in depth, as well as how this waste may be eradicated and assimilated into the production system through improvement of the warehouse layout. For the introduction, the storage of communities, the transportation of goods, and the administration of information are the three basic activities of a warehouse. The storage of goods is one of the conventional criteria of a warehouse. One of the most crucial components of a warehouse is to provide the space required for storing goods in large quantities. In order to apply lean manufacturing, it is necessary to identify the ordinary seven wastes in this manufacturing process and eliminate all those the waste in an effective manner. In order to apply lean manufacturing, it is necessary to identify the ordinary seven wastes, which we call is a uh, muda in the manufacturing process and eliminate the waste in effective manner. In this project, I will emphasize on the warehouse layout design, which is a critical component of subsequent optimization efforts and substantially influences on the picking and warehouse trip distances. A problem that has long arisen in the warehouse operation is that the inconsistent layout of items make the search period for an item uh, time consuming, which to some extent disrupts the productivity of the workforce in the company. Uh, not forgetting uh, the excessive forklift movement in the warehouse is also considered non added value to the company. As with anything concerning lean, the first thing to keep in mind is that each step in the process is assessed in terms of whether it contributes to recent value for the client or not. The key to successfully adapting lean manufacturing is to include everyone involved in the production and waste eradication process. To satisfy the consumer expectation, producers were urged to engage in continuous improvement, we call it as Kaizen, by categorizing tasks into value added and non added value. NBA waste is broken down into motion, waiting, upper production, inventories, defects, over processing, and transportation. Any industry that uses lean manufacturing wants to increase output, reduce lead time, and enhance quality. Resources should not be wasted for the growth of a sector or nation uh, using a continuous flow approach and upgrading the layout may reduce displacement routes by 40% and the time needed to move the process by 44.2% in part research. More than three fourths of those who took the survey said the most significant impediments to industrial productivity are transportation muda, waiting time muda, and unnecessary motion muda. Most form of operation waste such as long order, waiting times, delayed truck loading, and inappropriate storage may be avoided by switching to a U-shape from flow layout and implementing ABC inventory analysis. And most warehouse operations can be optimized by at, at least 40%. During order picking, over half of the workers' time is spent traveling between different sections of the warehouse. It has also been shown that 
order picking is the most labor intensive and expensive activity in most warehouses with order picking activities accounting for around 55 percent of overall warehouse operating expenditures according to a case study the notion of ip we call it as intelligent product was initially used in a warehouse management system setting to enhance the scheduling and management of storage location assignment as well as picking activities as they also stated that restriction most often associated with product allocation activities uh, were rack and slot capacities floating location size trolley capacity storage duration product profitability and product allocation policy regarding the problem statement for this project we can deduce that today's global supply chain distance events are becoming more critical to local business settings making warehouses more dynamic management of warehouses should keep a keen eye on the business climate and respond with innovative solution as necessary uh, repetitive operations poor facility layout and seasonal demand all need the adoption of solid system that alert administrators to change and gaps that need addressing everything mentioned may directly or indirectly result in waste creation lean defines waste as everything that does not benefit the consumer in any way in other terms waste is everything that is consumer is unwilling to pay for any step or activity in a process that is not necessary to execute, the process effectively is referred to as waste. When waste is eliminated from the process, only the procedures that are necessary to offer an acceptable product or service to the client, not as value adding, remain. Some wastes may not have existed when a process was originally designed, but they may have developed over time as consumer needs or technology evolve. These modifications may render an existing phase outdated or inefficient. And if the process is not periodically evaluated for efficiency, these stages may remain in existence long after their need has passed. There are several factors that may affect a warehouse activities, efficiency, and productivity. This has proven a problem with long-term employees' memory. Still, increased volume customization and design complexity has exacerbated the situation in recent years. This project made its purpose is to develop an optimum warehouse control parameter for a lean system. Several objectives have been established in order to attain the aforementioned goals. To conduct operational analysis to work as warehouse operation, to prepare a practical warehouse layout, and the last one to integrate the Internet of Things called as IoT in warehouse management. This research is an industrial collaboration project that uses a variety of expertise to accomplish a range of goals. This study solely focuses on physical improvements or more specifically those related to the hardware of a warehouse. The time frame of this industrial collaboration process is limited. They are constrained in conducting this research particularly the quantity of data that can be gathered to undertake the operation analysis. This is related to the low frequency with which items are delivered by suppliers owing to the fact that suppliers do not get a fixed number of orders to be completed at a particular time. Varying order for each customer due to seasonal mix is more difficult for us to identify the variables involved which is compounded by the fact that delivery time frames vary per supply year. Distance between our accommodation and the warehouse location should also be considered making this a significant barrier in collecting time consuming data that necessitates many visits to the site. Let's move to the methodology applied for this project. For your information, this a case study in search approach that is used to get in a depth multi faced knowledge of a complicated matter in its real world environment. The strategy will be executed via Gemba Walk, which will allow researchers to see by themselves the actual process, comprehend the job, post question, and learn from people 
who perform the work. All while keeping in mind the ethical element towards the person who is executing the work. A uh, gamble work requires the researcher as well as the team members engaged to fully comprehend the assignment and scope of the gamble work, as well as to inform them of why they will be monitored throughout the procedure. On the day of the event, researchers, researchers sorry, my bet, must follow the value flow and look for areas of high waste potential that may be rectified. To determine why operations are connected in a particular sequence, Ask the process executioner a relevant question, such as the five W questions. There is a need to vary up the scheduling in order to observe how procedures change over the day or week. Following that, a follow-up with the employees engaged will be conducted to communicate what the researchers have learned and to make plans ahead for the next steps. Future Gamba will be performed to observe the changes that have been implemented and changed or check whether the desired results are achieved. Furthermore, the time study approach is employed for the job specific study of competent individuals in order to choose the most time and effort efficient way. Time study evaluates the time it takes to perform a task or activity using the most efficient pace or method. Here, I will discuss on the expected result or outcome at the end of the project. Ultimately, an Internet of Things ready warehouse will be built with more processes connected to the Internet and accessible from anywhere and anytime. This indicates that the labor may be better used for other jobs that needs more attention, improving one of the four M terms. Main. The vision is to help a warehouse more efficient and organized. The smart warehouse potentially do this by empowering layouts that highlight different internal and external aspects. Also anticipated that establishing a smart warehouse will make all industry more competitive in the face of the present industrial revolution 4.0. It is vital to assess labor standards and safety while optimizing warehouse operations. The task stage sequence must deliver added value while eliminating non-added value. Yes, so for me, thank you.